On this RV decor series, I'm gonna show you how I installed this window with the cool shade. I wanted to change out our window. I wanted it to be clear when I wanted it to be clear, but if I wanted it to be blacked out, I could do that. And I ordered this thin shade and little did I know, we have the Lippert window and there is not screws on ours to take it off. And you're supposed to have to order some like, they're like $48 clips to take it off. So I watched a guy's video on how to take them off without ordering those. In the guy's video, he used a butter knife. And um, well, I've told Bill never, ever, ever use my butter knife as a tool because I've lost a lot of them this way and now I'm breaking my cardinal rule because I'm gonna be using this butter knife. Then the guy needed, when you get the butter knife to help pop them out, then you need something to keep it popped out. And he used some kid little toys. I don't even know what they were, but <laughs> I ended up finding all these different little lids and I'm gonna try to slide these in to put around it. And that keeps the clips from clipping back. So we're gonna attempt this. Now, the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some gaff tape and I am going to fix this. So when I unclip that, this doesn't just fall out without me wanting it to come out. And this is gonna be fun to, um, to film, but I'm definitely gonna try to do my best. I just got gaff tape, because that's something that I had. Because I don't want it to fall out. Even though I'm not reusing this, I still don't want glass everywhere. And I'm gonna go ahead and apologize. Sounds like they're doing some construction work or something over here, like with big bulldozers. So if you hear that, that's what's going on. Not going on here. These are the little holes that the clips are in. There's three across the bottom. I'm sure there's three across the top. So supposedly to get this to come loose, you stick this butter knife in there and it unclips like that. Now, let me, like I said, I'm gonna attempt to do the best I can with the cameras. Looks like I've got the bottom three unhooked. Old age sucks. I'm blind. All right, there's some more. I found them. These I had got, they're little lids from the Dollar Tree from little containers. I wish I had more of those. They're the perfect thickness to hold this out. There's one, two, three, four on the side and three across the bottom. And all of them have popped really good, ex except for this one, it's not wanting to pop. Oh, there, I got it, ha, -ha. Now I'm closing the door so you can't see me. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like I've got most of them unclipped. I figured it would just come on off, but that's not it. But this butter knife saved me $48. I wish I had more of these clip these, but I ended up stuffing the glad ones in there. So I'm just kind of going around and making sure. I'm getting them pulled out. Aha! Uh -huh. It is coming off. 
they're start it's starting to pop off yay so what I've done from what I can tell happened is I went around and popped them all once and then I've gone back and I've had to go back in them the second time and that's making it come loose it's working all right closing the door for you a minute <laughs> I should have got a ladder so I could uh might have to do that. I'm gonna go see if I can find a ladder. I don't know that I have a ladder, but I'm gonna attempt it. Yeah, way much easier. have to buy your clips <laughs> so I wanted to show you up close because this was something that that guy uh, showed and uh, it really helped because you had a visual of how it ha works so what you're doing is you're sliding this in and you're just pushing these pins apart can you see you're just pushing these pins apart and then it keeps moving and it's got a bunch of different clips so you may have to do one and then just move it out move one move it out that's why you've got to have the shims of some sort to put in there and i'm glad that i have it taped in all right i'm gonna finish getting this window out so make sure that the glass doesn't fall out I left, I just pulled it off of the actual door and left it on the glass in the frame because this piece of glass, it would have fallen out and it would have been a mess. So the, uh, the tape is a must and I just use gaff tape. So I just took some Clorox wipes or you could use alcohol and I cleaned off around where the window is going back and then I took paper towels and dried that off. All right, so the, the, the wider flange goes to the bottom of the window and this just slides in up underneath those there's like little clips and so this just slides in right like that pop that in oops should have stuck that back in there uh, and then on the top it's the same thing you pop this in oh. It does not want to stay. Oh wait, I know what I saw. Now, I, I, I watched a video about this and I think this is where the gaff tape would be really good because it is black. They said to help make it stay secure because it's won't, it'll want to pop out as you're trying to install it is to tape that in and then tape the bottom in because no matter what you do you keep going back and forth and they keep wanting to pop out so I've got that one done Now you have this the glass and the glass wants to come out as well so we're gonna tape it in just how I did on the other window to get it out make sure my glass is in to tape my glass in Do not want to break my glass. All right, so I've got those in 
and that's gonna hold my glass in. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do the gaff tape so that it will hold the whole window in while I am screwing it in. If you wanna use this gaff tape, which I love this stuff, it's more for like, um, it doesn't leave a sticky residue or anything because it's for like film crews, but I will leave a link in the description box because I got this off of Amazon. So it has like a little logo right there that goes in the bottom. Sorry, you're gonna be a little wiggly cause you're on the ladder with me. So basically what I'm doing now is I took the screws and I'm not tightening them all the way down yet. I went from side to side, top to bottom, and I'm just hand tightening them. And then I'll come back and tighten them down after I get them all in. I don't want to, to tighten it all as I go. We want it to go in all together. And this ladder, should have done that to start with. Figured I better make sure that works before I get all these tightened up and find out I've done something wrong. <laughs> now I have quite a few videos recorded up, so hopefully I won't miss anything. But we are kind of going to be out of town for two weeks. Bill's going to Biloxi. Well, we're going to Biloxi. He is going to an invitational only golf tournament. So we'll be there. Be May 22nd. We're going to be in Biloxi. And I'm not going to film. So this is going to be like a weird thing to be on vacation and not filming. But we've already been there. And, so, and it's just a golf tournament. It's just for him. And then the next week, we leave to go to Hilton Head, North Carolina, and we'll be there for a whole week. So I'm trying to get all the RV mods done this week, because I'm sure last week should have been me redoing the island. And if you haven't watched that already, I'll link that. So I gave you some extra screws and I dropped one and I was like panicking. All right, so I have it all hand tightened. And now I'm just gonna go back and just kind of tighten them. I don't, you don't wanna go down too tight because this is plastic and you don't want to crack it. And don't use a drill for this either. You want it to be a screwdriver. Bill's gonna be mad. He told me not to do this without him. He said that I would mess it up. Look at me, I've done it good. Y'all gonna have to get on to him in the comments. Tell him, tell him, he's gotta trust me. I was scared about doing this. I have to say, I was scared. I was scared to break the glass, but the tape, that was the key. The tape was the key. And you see, I'm having to go back to the beginning again and tighten them up a little more because I think everything is done. Nope. See, that one had a few more. That was good. All right, I'm gonna get the tape off the outside and then I will meet you inside to talk for a minute. I'm gonna pack up the old window and I'm gonna put it back in this box and put it out in our shed or something, just in case something ever happened to this window, at least we would have a backup. There was one thing that I didn't think about this window is I can't just grab this and close it because the screen door is on here. Hmm. But 
if I want to close the window, I can just open the door and do it. But that was something I didn't think about. But I love the idea that I can stand here and see out the window. I had thought about this when we were at our hunting club and we could see out across the field. And sometimes I would be standing over here like fixing my morning coffee and I could look out the window. I love looking out my windows. So this was a great addition. That is it. It is done. Oh, it's hard. Maybe it gets a little easier to go up and down, but it's not like it's something I'm gonna be up and down and all the time. But I love this window. It was way, way easier than I thought. I was scared to death. I've had this window for like a month now, and I've just been putting it off because I was scared. I was scared that it was not gonna be easy, but way easier than I thought. What made me, there was two things that made me scared about this project was one, the fact of the glass, because I had watched several videos and people almost dropped the glass. So that was a big fear. Then when I came out here and saw that ours did not have the screws, how was I gonna get it off? Started searching videos and everything kept telling me that I had to go to Lippert and buy, I think they were $48, these clips. I didn't wanna spend $48 because I already bought this window. I didn't want to add another $48 for something that would be just a tool that I would never use again. So I kept searching and I finally found this guy's video that showed how he took the butter knife and took it out. And I have to say, that guy was genius. That came out super easy, way easier than I thought. I will put the link to this window in the description box below. It was $73 or $74. Not a bad investment or an upgrade. I love looking out the windows, but I like the idea of being able to black it out if I wanted it to. I hope you're enjoying all of these videos. If you are, please like this video and subscribe if you're not already. That really helps our channel so I can bring you more videos like this. Also, all the links in the description box will be Amazon affiliate links, and I use that money to purchase new items to review for you I hope you get your RV ready for the road. Well, I do decor, you know. Till next time, like and subscribe.